All right, guys, we're going to give you a little update what's going on. Just a short little video, show you what's happening here at the shop. Uh, keep in mind, oh, my poster guy just rolled in, so just give me one second. I'll be right back to you. I'm going to pause okay, you for so a minute. Okay, so we're back with you. And what I'm going to show you is you remember our little pickup cab we were doing? Well, here it is. I managed to finish off. I managed to finish off welding on the whole back half. The back half is done, finished. Now, you're probably thinking, what's at the body filler there? That's just... Dave is, you know, this truck's got to be straight, and like I said, if you want something perfectly straight, you usually skim coat it. So Dave went through and skim coated it, and it's very, you can see, it's very thin, the body filler. It's just, it's still all metal. I mean, listen to it. That's just a skim coat to get any fine little wrinkles and stuff out. Now, of course, the upper part of the cab was all smashed in up in here. Dave did a wonderful job straightening that. He did the whole roof. The whole roof is done. So I'm about to just put the filler primer on it now, and that way there from the roof back, this thing is done. There it is inside, our braces are all welded solid. It's all welded solid down on our door post down below on this end right here. You can see we've got that all welded up in there. So what we're on to next is, as you can see here, I've done, look at the factory, how many spot welds. Look at this, can you believe this? Here, watch it. I'll zoom in here and you guys will get a look. Can you believe that? That is how many factory spot welds there were on the firewall. So obviously you can see the firewall is out. Now what I'm gonna tackle next is inside here, this whole part of the truck, or you wanna call it your inner cowl panel or your inner kick panel, whatever you wanna call it, it is completely just destroyed rotten. Now I'm gonna put these in next and they come down, they attach to the floor. The reason for me doing these next is because it's gonna be a lot easier to do those while the firewall is out. I can get in here and cut and weld everything. So you can just see exactly how bad that is. But overall, if you look at it, it sure is a lot different than when it came in. It's actually looking like a salvageable truck. So, here's your last and final look at it before I put it in primer on the back half. And she's looking pretty damn good. Now we'll sneak over here into the other room and look what we've got going on. Colby's truck, we did all the edges. There it is, Colby went with the factory green for this truck. The factory color, inside and outside. You remember before I showed you the inside. Well, the cab is mounted down, all new cab mounts in it. We're starting to assemble the dashboard slowly, as you can see. We're starting to assemble everything inside. Always easier to assemble everything inside while the doors are off. You know, lots of room to lay there, look around, see what you're doing. But is that looking beautiful or what? We got our power brake booster and master put on there because Kobe went with the disc brake conversion kit. As you can see, just look how the colors blend together. These are the factory colors. Now what you're probably thinking here is what's with this black? Well up here, if you remember, this is, if anyone who's got these trucks, this is where you put your um, cowl and it's got all the vents in it that are cut open. Well, I don't ever paint in there green or whatever color the body is. We usually do that in black because all the dirt and shit gets in there. You can never clean it. So if you just do it in black, it's a nice contrast. When you look through, it's just black. It looks like a tunnel, if you know what I mean. So you don't see nothing going on in there. So that's exactly why we did that. Got the e-brake in, got the e-brake cables in, got the brake pedal assembly in, speedo cable, radio, you know, just just putting a heater in now, then we're going to start to get the wiring into the truck. So there's a, there's a bit there to do. Still a ways to go on Colby's truck, but it's always nice to see it coming together, you know, than, than when it's all laying around in pieces. Now it actually looks like something's happening. And of course, we moved the gas tank, Kobe filled it in, we moved the gas tank and put a gas tank in the rear of this truck. Now, it's not factory, but I found a gas tank that fits in there. And Kobe's going to have the filler neck. He wants it so it comes up through the wood. He's going to have one of those nice stainless flush mounted caps in the wood where you just pop the lid and then you get in there and that's where you fill your gas tank. So, that tank is probably a 50 to 55 liter tank. Um, for you American folks, I don't know what that is in gallons. Get out your calculator and figure it out. <laughs> anyway, but there we are. 
that's what's going on here at the shop this week. And yes, there are more jet skis in the background. They will all be over with soon. We are coming up on the September long weekend. Once the September long weekend is here, there is no more jet skis. The guys shut down for the season and uh, we won't have any more jet skis here for repairs until next June. But there we are. So all you guys out there writing, I will get some videos up. Yes, my 58 is up on the hoist. I know it's been ages since you've seen my 58 Ford. I was doing stuff to it. Um, there was nothing major. It wasn't worth making a video out of. I'm sorry it took so long, but you know how it is, all you guys out there, when you got a shop and you summer holidays and all the bullshit coming up, um, you just don't get time to work on your own stuff. I never get time. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm out here 12 hours a day, and uh, and that's on customer shit, not my own. So uh, I am back on my car. It's back up on the hoist. I'm going to try and get the body done so I can get the body mounted back on the frame and get the motor and tranny in the frame. So that's it. Remember, hey. It's always a good time at Old Time. Thank you for subscribing. Look us up on oldtimegarage.ca um, and check us out from there. And that's all I can tell you right now. I'm, I'm babbling on here because I'm just super tired. Okay, guys. See you later.